What's one of the best ways to conquer your fear? In fact, the only way. Find out on this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. You are looking down from a top of one of the peaks of Red Rock Canyon. For most of my life, I have had a fear of heights. Well, as I was walking through this park, I decided that I would test my fear. Just go ahead and do it. I'm not real comfortable. I'm not right at the edge, as you can tell. But I decided if I'm going to ask people to conquer their fear of speaking, I need to conquer some of my fears, or at least take a shot at it. And that's why I'm having you look down Oh, probably a 200-foot ravine or whatever that's called into the valley below. Don't worry, Mom. I checked for snakes. We're good. The only way I could do this was to just push through the fear and walk over to the edge. I'm not totally comfortable, but it's a step. If you have a fear of speaking, the only way you're going to begin to conquer it, master it, and control it is to do it. Start by standing up in front of just two people and talking about something, anything. Then increase that to three people, five people, get to a Toastmasters club, talk to 10 or 15, keep stretching yourself. You won't conquer or master this overnight, but with increased repetition, you'll get more comfortable and it will become easier for you to do. Well, as you can see, I made it back to the top. I'm still alive. Hope you're happy with that, Mom. I'll leave you with this. Everybody has fears. The person who says he doesn't or she doesn't is either a fool or a liar. I think Twain said that. People need to hear your message, especially when you focus on your strife, your struggles, and your setbacks before you talk about your successes. Do that and you'll be a speaker that other people want to hear time and time again. See you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.